Okay, so, so this will be the last lecture. It will be mostly speculative, yeah, so there will be plenty of conjectures, but essentially no theorems. Uh, so I recall that, so the last time, uh, you have uh, kind of, uh, I talk about another origin of uh, maximal F bundles, which was landau ginzburg model. LG models. It's from landau ginzburg and as I understand, it was some kind of early uh, model in physics of phase transition, kind of similar to kind of Tom catastrophe theory. Yeah, so uh, what is the data I have? Let's say a smooth quasi projective. Projective variety of some field of statistic zero. And and the map to a fine line. Yeah. And uh, the only condition which I want to impose is that the critical locus is uh, proper. And uh, then uh, uh, last time uh, I also asked that critical the only critical value will be zero, but uh, right now I don't. I omit it. Uh, so from this thing, you have a, a, a DG algebra. So the world class <coughs> projective is uh, because of habit, or there is some use of uh, an upper line boundary in this? Uh, in fact, uh, uh, maybe it's true if it's uh, open in uh, just. Uh, Algebraic variety and uh, the proof of certain degeneracy of spectral sequence based on existence of Keller metric. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, so it's kind of it's it's not optimal formulation and uh, in fact I would like to have it from a formal scheme, but uh, let's let me don't dwell on it. You have DG Lie algebra. Uh, and uh, in fact, it will be z to graded. Is it still characteristic zero? Characteristic zero, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. And not necessarily algebraically closed. No, no. You have differential graded Lie algebra, uh, which kind of model cohomological Hochschild complex, uh, namely consider uh, Complex of polyvector fields, large of vector fields with differential commutator with f, which doesn't preserve the grading. Uh, then, in general, if you get such situation, uh, you get a, a formal base of a formal d, uh, is it a graded dg. F bundle. So the, what is the the mean of commutators that you have some? Sorry. You have, so you need some bracket. On polyvector fields, there is uh, the, what's called Scotton in his bracket. Ah, oh, okay. So this is something that extends the <laughs> bracket. So between a vector field and a function, it is just evaluation of the. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Commutator f with ah. uh, the differential. Yeah. Differential is is its shift of differential graded Lie algebras. Okay. Then can make your gamma there will be some. So it is a super. So you are taking this. Yeah, it's all su it's all, all super. Yeah, it's not 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 degrading a priori. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, formal DG manifold of uh, DG. DG bundle and and fiber, whose fiber uh, I will just uh, uh, say that it's, uh, it's like sections on a formal disk will be R gamma of Y mm, at fiber at the zero point at base point it, it will be forms with uh, differential given by maybe take series and U variable and take uh, U D plus D F. 
yeah, so it's formal uh, in uh, uh, both sense, in kind of in U variables formal and also as a uh, basis also formal. You wrote uh, forms on Y, Y is it all, it's a fiber. Yeah, forms on Y, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and if... So what is the base of this? Ah, uh, yeah, uh, 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 the formal base, uh, uh, it's Maur Cartan space of Maur Cartan uh, space of this, of this DG algebra. Which is smooth. Uh, no, it's kind of DG, it's formal DG uh, manifold, super manifold. It's a, uh, 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 now, if you have the Gili algebra, uh, you can try to you know, solve equation. Uh, yeah, you can see the. Uh, you, uh, you can automatically construct a formal DG manifold by taking. Uh, uh, Is like passing from the algebra to the formal group? No, 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 to classify in space. Uh, 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 you, you, you kind of look on the solution of this equation, close to zero, modular gauge transformation, and solution of the equation you treat as zeros of uh, uh, odd vector field, which you treat as a differential on the manifold. Ah, uh, or what, or maybe what can I say? You can see the uh, co-chain complex of this Lie algebra with trivial coefficients. Yeah. It's a super commutative algebra yeah. with differential. And then we treat it as a function on on the supermanifold. So this is a, a, a super. It's functions on the sup on DG manifolds. Function. On formal DG manifold. So does it look like formal series in even variables and? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's exterior. Uh, yeah. This algebra uh, is uh, has finite dimensional cohomology. Because of properness. Some complexes, yeah, yeah, I skip the whole uh, story. Uh, but ah, okay, so, so, so. One can replace, uh, uh, one can re uh, uh, replace something, uh, this uh, maybe infinite dimensional thing if you choose some resolution by some finite dimensional model. Yes. But it will be not Lie algebra, it's called Lie infinity algebra, and which is uh, the same as a formal finite dimensional so what, what DGM. Is G? Lie algebra G. Uh, here, this notation. Oh, 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 sorry, I missed that. Okay. So G is. Ah, okay. What is the DG manifold? Uh, it's a super manifold with odd vector field whose anti commutator is itself equal to zero. And, and when you solve the model of Cartan equation. Ah, it will be zero locus of vector field, yeah. Uh, and the zero locus is smooth in some sense? Uh, no, no, no. This thing is smooth in, in derived sense. But uh, but I just want what I want to say. If uh, my uh, there exists a, a trivialization of by some volume element of of the canonical bundle on of this way, uh, then there are actually two things. Uh, then. Uh, uh, the small cotton space is formally smooth, I, I, is, uh, is, is called unobstructed. So you get actual, not DG manifold, you, you, you can pass to Comol to get actual super manifold, so formal super manifold. And second thing which happens in this case, this F bundle, which uh, 
in constructing can be derived since is actually maximal. Okay. Yeah, so uh, so I get this origin of the, at least these formal germs of the self manifolds and all this depends only on uh, formal neighborhood, formal completion. Why at the critical locus and restriction of function to this formal completion? Mm. And in particular, you see if uh, my, if my critical locus is I'll write as a union of connected components. Then this Markatan space will be product uh, of Markatan spaces over. Uh, mm, Deformation theory in neighborhood of each connected component. So automatically get this product structure. Yeah, yeah and uh, so the whole story about categories, which I uh, told you uh, before, mm, makes sense if uh, critical value is zero. If critical value is not zero, this kind of no category, but one formally defined category by shifting the value of the function. So the alpha is running over the critical values, are you at uh, alpha running through alpha running through pi zero of critical critical locus. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this object it's kind of has a very uh, um, old history is a kind of special case when critical locus is consists of just one point as set as a set. The scheme could be sh kind of thick point, and it's uh, what's called isolated singularity. And this was subject studied a lot by in uh, singularity theory. So the most typical examples like Morse singularity. Oh, then you can go with something like skew. You can go with some. It's called a two, a four, a three. Uh, uh, Singularity corresponding to Dinkin diagrams and and so on and so forth. And then if you get a singularity, then this DG algebra uh, is concentrated in just one degree plus one. Uh, it is uh, the cohomology on top degree. And this DG algebra is isomorphic to uh, you change parity of the following thing. You consider, mm, I'll just uh, assume that I have local coordinates. I have kind of like maybe series my, in my some coordinates, whatever, dy, divided by ideal generated by all derivative. It's called Jacobian ideal. And this is called Milner ring. Singularity, it has certain dimension. It's called Milner number, which is a mi uh, a mu is equal to one here and two, three, and so on in these examples. A and uh, and then a Markatan space. Uh, yeah, the volume element automatically exists because in a formal neighborhood point you have some volume element, so it's, it's not, not a problem. And the Mauer Cartan space, uh, if, if k is, let's say, complex numbers, uh, can be uh, made non formal. It can be made not formal, but not algebraic, I have to say. So it's, uh, uh, and it's called universal unfolding singularity. And for example, uh, if you consider like function x cubed, the universal unfolding you consider 
uh, such a two parameter family of functions yeah yes yeah, so, yeah so that's uh, kind of it was a well studied subject of isolated singularities and the whole story can be thought it's kind of generalization to, to non-isolated case but when still get compact critical locus so this is the algebra as a, what, what about gradient it's, it's z to graded Lie algebra and all brackets is zero. Uh, differential zero, so it's kind of formal. The degree is zero. Pi. It's, oh, it's, pi. it's, it's change parity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change parity. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, so that's... Um, mm, th th that what, is, what goes on? And uh, uh, why are we interested in landau ginzburg models? What did you, you said that uh, the Lie algebra is... What is the change parity uh, remark? Uh, it's, it's, it's purely odd vector space. Uh -huh. what is Pi is in super manifold, it's not change of parity. Is it's it's right it's an odd vector space? Sorry. It's purely odd vector space, yeah. Ah, purely odd, and uh, it's the commutator is then anti-commutator. It's zero, everything is zero, yeah. So each xi is in the odd degree now? No, 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 no. No, no it's finite dimensional space, which is isomorphic to uh, kind of like uh, k to power mu. Yeah. And you change parity. Oh. It's kind of like k to dimension zero mu. Okay. notation, yeah. And more Cartan space is purely even. Just uh, okay. Mm, so uh, so LG, LG models uh, by mirror symmetry describe uh, corresponds to not to this uh, maximal of bundles. coming from gromov witten theory of some variety uh, in, in some cases. Or maybe like it, uh, sometimes, it's not always, yeah. yeah uh, uh, essentially, there are, uh, uh, if kx equal to zero, it's Calabi-Yau, then it could be mirror Calabi-Yau and zero function equal to zero. And also when you have fun of variety, again there are uh, plenty of examples when you have this actual uh, thing, uh, some, some function. Uh, yes, it, the main example just if you consider like x is equal to pn, then variety will be It will be n plus, uh, n again, n-dimensional space, the torus, and function will be uh, this Laurent polynomial. Yeah, that's the, the, base, the basic example for... E1 minus g to the power n. Yeah, 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 kind of gem, gem to power n, yeah. And function is... Yeah. It's kind of, essentially, it's, I think it's the only uh, mirror which I remember by heart. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, so this is mirror of what? Of projective space. Oh, a PN. Yes, yes. Ah, yeah. I see, I see. yeah. So yeah. you said that this, that you have formal, uh, you have a bundle over this formal base, which is more Cartan equation. How does this, how this bundle? Ah, uh, no, it's, uh, yeah, it's essentially, yeah, if you consider the solution mark cartan equation, you just deform f, yeah, by some polyvector field, yes. roughly, and you deform differential in this thing. Can you write? Yeah, it's a bit... Uh, okay. okay, I don't want to write now. So here in this case, what is the singular... The sing singular locus... A uh, single locus will be a, 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 n plus one, uh, singular locus will be n plus one roots of one. Okay. But 
Or, 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 or roots of 1 of order n plus 1. Uh, I see. So yeah. it's finitely many. Finitely many, yeah. It's isolated. Now, isolated more singularity, yeah. Yeah, but the story is the following. Uh, what's happened that things uh, we have kind of, um, there are some uh, kind of examples, uh, as people say, for uh, varieties of general type, but it's n n nothing systematic here, and I think it's, I would say, kind of not always exists. And if it exists, it could be uh, several mirrors. Uh, for example, uh, if you consider mirror to, to Calabi-Yau, it's uh, variety. It could be uh, different mirrors which are just derived equivalent, not not even isomorphic. Uh, yeah, s yeah. So it's, uh, uh, this whole story kind of goes only in one direction, but um, kind of what I believe it kind of uh, much what was m more believable that. Uh, it's plausible that for any uh, landau gisbert model, there exists some variety, of maybe completely different dimension, uh, such that uh, if, you g if you move inside this uh, base of F bundle for ground field theory, it will split in several factors. One factor will be this your uh, landau gisbert model. Uh, oh, sorry, can you say again? No, no, not. Yeah, I said that there's two sources of F bundles coming from Gorm Fitton theory and Landau Ginsburg model. And uh, my guess is kind of each Landau Ginsburg model can be embedded into some Gorm Fitton invariant of some huge variety of big dimension. Embedded, not that F bundles. N not equal, yeah, it will be just one of factors. So uh, in, in terms of F bundles? In terms of F bundles, yeah. And then you said that you could have several axes which produce the same. F yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this this effect interpolates what you said before. This several uh, axes somehow. Is no, 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 several y's produce the same F bundle. Also, before you had several usual F bundles, now you have some derived object. Beside. Yeah, no, no, no. I said it's if it started it's derived, but I said that if there is a volume element, uh, then one can forget about derived. You get actual germ of manifold, not DG manifold. Ah, okay. Yeah. Sorry, can you see again? So yeah. you can have several Y's which produce the same F bundle, and this F bundle sometimes come from unique X, as Gromov well written there. Not unique, several, again, many X's as a part of X. No, 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 I think that if you just want to identify this F bundle coming from X and Y, then there's little chance. But for each Y, uh, and, uh, in <coughs> and even um, factors coming from X, not necessarily come from some, uh, there's no reason to come from some uh, landau Gisbert model, but, but, but for each landau Goldberg, I believe there is, uh, uh, it will be a factor in the local decomposition for a bundle coming from some gromov witten theory. Yeah, so for example, all the things coming from singularity theory should appear eventually uh, if you count curves on some varieties. Yeah, so it's all, mm, yeah, so, it's, so it looks like, uh, like, um, Ex uh, uh, dramatic example how we can try to think about F bundles, this, but it's not universal. And uh, all kind of more lecture today, it's kind of try to draw some ideas from this model. So where does Y come from? Is it important that it's Kalabi Yau mirror of something? See, because in your formulation, ju it's just Y and the map F. Yes, yes, but it also has volume element. Yeah, it's no, it's 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 kind of. Right? Yes. I mean, there is a volume element. Yes. But where is the rule of X here? There's no X, no, no just in, uh, things that produce the same kind of, same classes of maximal of bundles, oh, kind of similar classes of maximal of bundles. But there's no direct rule of F. No, 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 no. no. Uh, and um, what I just want to say is that there is something very strange here. On this, on these things, we have action of uh, this Mativi Gala group G, which I talk about. Acts this G, this kind of like version of Mativi Gala group, uh, via some finite dimensional 
quotient. So the resection of certain reductive group on such ga guys. Mm. Uh, and th uh, this, is, this is the question, what can happen? Excellent. Now, on consider F bundles coming from uh, ground fusion theory, yeah. because all things was uh, invariant on the material Gallo group, this action of Gallo group on this, uh, uh, on, every, uh, on the whole structure, on this F bundle. On F bundle, yeah. And, uh, and here mm. you can also should have group action. Uh, kind of naive idea will be that group acts on your manifold and preserves the function. Yeah, uh, why this group should act on this uh, automorphism of this DG uh, algebra? So the group is the Galois group. Yeah, yeah, my typical Galois group, yeah, this, uh, some the risky closure. No, 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 if consider, if consider, can, can count ground fit invariance for some algebraic variety, I, 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 I told that you, you get automatically because all ground fusion events are in algebraic cycles. Uh, you get f bundle uh, maximal bundles with action of of of, of reductive group, the image of motivic Gala group and cohomology. Uh, and the question: How it can act on this landau Ginzburg model? Yeah, so it looks uh, uh, really. Uh, uh, the first thing which comes to the mind is that the group acts on this manifold and preserves the function. Uh, and this is definitely not uh, the case uh, in real life situation, because when you consider like Calabria variety, mirrors Calabria variety with zero function, Calabria variety typically has only discrete group of symmetries. Uh, then the next idea will be that uh, maybe uh, you have the following. Uh, then the whole thing has uh, doesn't have continuous symmetry, but has discrete uh, group of symmetries. And and then uh, if you act on this uh, corresponding uh, Morcatan space, uh, you expand an um, action on algebra functions. You get some linear representation. Take the risky closure. You kind of promote it to action of some continuous group. It's still not the case. <laughs> uh, uh, if you again look on case of Calabiao, uh, what happens, mm, uh, as I explained, the whole story comes secretly if the critical value is zero from categories, yeah? You can have a discrete group acting by automorphism of categories. And then this discrete group acts on, on, uh, on modular space and then it take, uh, acts through some the risky closure to some uh, um, finite dimensional reductive group and that will be uh, in relation with the symmetry. But the whole story is really arithmetic of this correspondence, it's not really well understood. Uh, this discrete group which I talk about, it corresponds to some part of Gallo group which, which is discrete. Imagine this we have filled this uh, field of a rational function of some variety. Then the usual fundamental group of the variety will be part of, of motivic Gallo group. But arithmetic part we cannot uh, see in this way, so it's uh, something really not clear here. The Gromov invariance defined is genus zero or all genus? Uh, no, they define for all genera, but I use only genus zero. Yeah. And uh, what is this group uh, action, the simplest example of here? Uh, it's actually it's, it's trivial. It's trivial, yeah. Uh, and let's say as an X you take a variety that's only isomorphic to PN over C, so from Brower severity variety. Yes, I, I will mention them maybe at the very end how to understand. Everything changes and you see the actual explicitly? Yes, yes, one can, one can see this Bauer severe variety, I'll mention them a bit much later. It's not the right time at the moment. Oh. Ah. Uh, actually, there was something uh, funny here, I, I told you uh, that my Lie algebra is Z only Z2 graded because that's how homological Hochschild complex looks. Uh, look. But in fact it is, in fact G is Z graded. And how it's Z graded? 
uh, you place which i t in degree one minus i you place in kind of uh, wrong degree and then uh, uh, the uh, uh, degree of commutator will be pl uh, of differential will be plus one and you get perfect z graded thing so it implies that Markatan space uh, carries GL1 action or GM action responsible for the grading. Uh, and what is this action? This action corresponds to uh, to part of this Mativi Gala group, which I before kind of dismissed. Yeah, so it's at least some part of the sects. Namely, you get GL1 coming from Hodge uh, filtration, acting in, sitting in complexification of my Gala group. Uh, I, I recall that uh, you consider realization commodal variety on uh, commodal variety with We wait with this character p minus q. Mm. So all this is with an embedding in C of k fixed. I mean, you fix it. Sorry? You fix an embedding of small k into C from, from the beginning? Uh, the field k? Maybe, yeah, yeah, it's. it's yeah, let, let's fix it. Yeah, it's it, for a bit hard to. Uh, so what is GL1 Hodge now? A GL1 Hodge? Uh, uh, ah, that's something which I use in uh, this uh, birational invariance. I, I, I tell that this Gallo group was not the whole Gallo group, but uh, I allow to change weight. Okay. But still, um, uh, if consider complex realization, yeah. Mm. Uh, then, uh, then the with complex coefficients, you get decomposition by direct sums corresponding to p minus q and to correspond to some jl1 action. So, but this uh, this depends on the embedding in C. Yes, yes, I cho choose embedding in C. Uh, but the grading of the algebra and so on, and the grading doesn't depend. But it's kind of a different field. Yeah, it's right. uh, it's uh, Lie algebra is roughly defined on the field of uh, which is coefficients of weight cohomology theory. I, 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 if you try to re to relate this with ground fitting invariance. Uh, you want to make realization of cohomology, certain realization of cohomology, like Betty or Deram. And, uh, and that this uh, the model will be on the same field. No, no, but the field, when you have the Lie algebra, when you do this R gamma wedge IT and so on, this is over the field K. It's a field K, yeah. Now I assume maybe K is also sits in, is it equal to complex numbers. So. Yeah, there's a whole mess with fields here. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, it's not the same k as the definition of my variety. K. It's maybe co it should called capital K, roughly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Now, so so um, uh, what here goes on? Uh, so we get uh, this z grading. And then, and then this Markatan space contains kind of like a fixed locus under the JL1 action. Which has solution of Markatan equation in uh, kind of usual in the algebra of degree one. And uh, let's assume that my field uh, uh, over complex numbers. Uh, why f are complex numbers? I can write uh, uh, um, what a solution of Markov equations. Uh, uh, my Lie algebra I write is the sum of a, I choose uh, Delbo model. Uh, 
is the gradient is g minus i plus 1. And differential Sorry? Yeah, f from y to a1, which is c, k. Is this, yeah, I, I think it should denote the things a by capital k, yeah, yeah. My, my, my variety in function will be o, over complex numbers now. Ah, I see. Okay. I see. Yeah. That I wrote here. Okay. Differential is d bar plus. And are you still assuming that o y is isomorphic with k y? Uh, are you still because you are... Uh, yes, yes, yeah. oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yes, assume, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, assuming, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm assuming can, uh, KY is equal to zero. Uh, so differential gradient, and then we can see the solution of Mark Cartan equation in degree, uh, in degree plus one, as usual. So we're looking for gammas, looking in the sum of a gamma Y kind of diagonal part. I can see the set of gamma close to zero and satisfying uh, mark cartan equation. So it means that d bar gamma plus commutator of f gamma plus half of commutator of itself is equal to zero up to gauge equivalence. And it's a well defined, get a well defined formal uh, manifold. So this gamma. Uh, mm. uh, uh, actually, it's uh, extremely uh, uh, why we are looking at the GL1 locus because this corresponds to a locus fixed by GL1 Hodgson uh, Gromov Peterson invariance. And this, uh, in particular, contains this uh, deformation in long algebraic cycles, which are relevant for uh, this. Variational in uh, variationality questions. So I'm a bit confused. So this g is much larger than your earlier g, right? Uh, no, my g was for for the field. Uh, no, so the earlier g. No, so it's a different. R gamma. No, is this Lie no, it's the same Lie algebra. It's it's R gamma. It's the Dalbon model. How I, I calculate cohomology of same, same space. It's R gamma, it's, uh, it's kind of like, uh, up, uh, it depends on choice of resolution. Ah, I, okay, I use, I use, I'm choosing Dalbor okay. resolution, I yeah. See, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so get, uh, so, uh, so the six is kind of relevant for uh, this application of Schoen's equation. We look, uh, yes, we want to de deform only in local algebraic cycles, and now we deform only like PP uh, uh, cycles. So it corresponds to in 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 Gromov Newton theory to, uh, to, uh, uh, to some of a maybe PP cycles in Gromov of X. Which contains uh, commodity of X fixed by this Mativi Gala group and was, was relevant for rationality questions. For rationality questions and equation and atoms and so on. Now, so it's a uh, 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 good thing, but uh, and here, uh, kind of the main trouble. When I look on the solution of Mark Atan equation, this gamma is uh, sum of terms belonging to different uh, graded pieces, yeah? And if, if you, uh, 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 in this Lie algebra, uh, consider in Mark Cartan space, consider solutions which are uh, states in degree zero, it means you deform a function. It's deform deformed function, and if it has two components, gamma zero and gamma one, gamma one will be something like Beltrami differential. It means you deform complex structure and function.
But in general, if you go to high i, it will be something beyond uh, usual complex algebraic geometry. Uh, uh, and um, this object is not truly really understood. Maybe complex geometry, I see. Uh, uh, but there is something Nice here was observation uh, a few months ago by Diniaru uh, that uh, still in this situation you get one get complex analytic space with nil potents. Uh, which is kind of like critical locus as, ki as kind of uh, um, analytic variety. It's like spectrum of this Milner ring. Uh, so it gets schema with uh, nil potent. And uh, what is, uh, um, there are several ways to see it. Uh, uh, for example, the following. Suppose you get the solution mark cotton equation, uh, maybe depending on some form parameter, because that's the only way we can speak about them. And uh, uh, in, this, in this special kind of uh, part of my Lie algebra, then uh, how I construct a shift uh, analytic space with certain uh, shift of algebras. Uh, I, uh, I cover my x. So, I'm, I'm a bit. so when does we get this analytic space? I mean, what more generality are we looking at? Ah, now suppose you get a solution of Markatan equation, yes. depending on formal parameter in this algebra, yes. then again get formal family of complex analytic spaces. Yeah. Sorry, crit, crit F, yeah. So you get a formal deformation of crit F. A form, form deformation of crit F. The formal neighborhood of No, 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 just crit F itself, yeah. yeah. And uh, the idea is the following. Uh, um, if you have <coughs> uh, ah, you can see there are some open domain. Some Stein open domain. Open in in Y. And then restrict gamma to y. And uh, where it belongs? It's um, to you. To you. To, uh, to, uh, to you. Uh, sorry, to you, yeah. Uh, I restrict gamma to you. And um, uh, uh, and gives me certain elements satisfying this Marcotan equation. And now consider operator d bar plus d f plus a lead derivative with respect to gamma, which makes sense, acting on on what? I consider section of u of the following. Mm, uh, so are we considering now y over complex oh. numbers? Yeah, it's all complex numbers now. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, all, it's all complex numbers. Uh, what I do?
you consider on, on u uh, a shift of commutative uh, DJ algebras, uh, uh, again, polyvector fields in negative degrees, forms, d bar forms in positive degrees. Uh, so, not polyvector fields, consider uh, forms. Uh, oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, um, mix up it's polyvector fields, yeah. Polyvector fields in in, in z direction, but a place in negative degrees, and uh, forms in the bar directions. It's a, s a super commutative. It's z, gr z graded d g commutative algebra. Super. So what is omega? No, exterior two of what? Of t one zero. And can consider here d bar forms. In degree zero is infinity. I, I multiply over c. It just infinity functions. Yeah, and the commutative is in the super. In the super sense, yeah, and z graded, yeah, and this gadget defined you. It's essentially my Lie algebra, uh, piece of my Lie algebra, which I consider, but consider shifted and consider commutative algebra. And differential with differential and commutative algebra. So you get DG commutative algebra. So you get this DG commutative algebra, but uh, um, when I calculate the differential, uh, because of. Uh so now you have R in the C infinity. What is C infinity? This is just also the shift of C infinity functions. Shift of C infinity functions, so yeah. Smooth functions. Yeah, it's a smooth functions, yeah. It's all it's smooth vector bundles, yeah. So you have moved from analytic category to C infinity? Yes, yes, but in this resolution I go to this smooth uh, uh, sections of smooth bundle. Now, so this is the algebra, and when we consider kind of an initial point when with no uh, de deformation by Ligamma, uh, we can calculate uh, using Dalbor resolution. We can see this polyvector fields on U. If gamma is equal to zero, then commodity of the things are what? You can see the sum of a gamma, gamma U with uh, uh, now holomorphic. With differential DF. You can see the holomorphic polyvector fields in differential DF. In particular, this uh, uh, DGL algebra is considered in non positive degrees. If gamma equal to zero, then now detect the cohomology. Yeah. And then you say that this is the same as. It's I calculate cohomology if, if you ignore these things. It's at zero point. I calculate first the differential respect to d bar. Then I get global section because it's Stein domain. Yes. And then I get complex in non positive degrees. So you get uh, polyvector fields in non positive degrees. So that's exactly the same. The complex of holomorphic section of polyvector field. Yeah, in, in negative degrees, yeah. And the differential is. Uh, 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 commutator with F. Oh, oh, sorry, commutator with F, yeah. Now it's exactly like uh, the realization of Milner ring, and in particular, you see that in degree zero, you get actual, uh, 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 you get functions on critical locus, cohomology degree zero. Now, if you deform differential, uh, the cohomology can only drop down, but there will be no cohomology in positive degrees at all, and in degree zero, you get certain. Uh, uh, commutative algebra, and it will be kind of algebra function, some, and the, they glue it to some shift, and you get analytic, analytic space. What well, do you know the cohomology in, in so in degree zero it is the minor. Uh, uh, yeah, it's kind of like functions on, de uh, on uh, critical locus as derived scheme. It's, it's, it's and in, the, in degree minus one? It will be something, yeah, it will be. Yeah, in the case of isolated singularity, you have nothing. Yeah, you get, get like you get something like a derived, derived function. So it it will be a deformation in the sense of derived. No, 
No, no, no, no. no. Uh, 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 ah, oh, oh, one can say this. You, you get deformation sense of direct. Uh, uh. Analytic spaces. Analytic spaces, yeah. But, but, uh, but then you, you say that you actually deform the critical, in good cases you deform the critical opus itself or not? Yeah, but, but in particular, cut circumvolution degree zero, you get certain, uh, yeah, it's, you don't deform, but you get uh, at least. Mm. It's not, you don't know it's flat. Yeah, we don't know it's flat, yeah, when I uh, forget about uh, this other, other part, but, uh, but still I get, mm. I get something and uh, So for isolated singularities, <coughs> you get where there is no... no uh, uh, for isolated singularities, there's no negative part, yeah. Okay, and then? Um, and then I get functions on a critical locus of deformed functions. Uh, kind of Milner ring for deformed singularity. Ah, okay, so you can just... Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah so there's... Uh, there is uh, some kind of uh, remnant of complex geometry in this case. We get actual uh, um, single variety. And uh, uh, while talking about it, uh, last time I spoke uh, about some uh, uh, story. Okay. So the only assumption in here is U. Oh, that's just for any open domain you get uh, uh, algebra, but actually we concentrate on original critical locus. So you kind of like de de deform on formal part, uh, it's, it's form of deformation. Uh, so uh, okay, then you have to glue like. They can glue, yeah, you can glue, yeah. yeah. So yeah. And then you get things in a, in a positive degree of, well. No, 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 okay, no, no, but you get on the shift theoretic level, you get only. Yeah, only, yeah. Uh, uh, so, so why, why are talking about it? Because uh, uh, last time I, I spoke uh, about uh, some uh, potential tool in uh, this application to operational geometry, uh, some kind of spectrum. Uh, it was, uh, if you have this uh, F bundle H with some connection on 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 uh, let's say form power series ring, uh, and the connection has du plus something u minus one plus something u inverse plus you get some kind of like terms I don't want to den denote, and um, and if connection has a regular singularity and quasi unipotent monodromy uh, it means that its connection can be transformed over uh, Laurent series ring can be transformed to connection with first of the pole and residues will have eigenvalues rational numbers uh, then from this thing you can produce a kind of spectrum in Q with multiplicities and also we get kind of like two spectra by even and odd part of Comold because we have in general super vector bundle mm. and this spectra uh, uh, from the Dow Ginsburg model behave uh, looks like something like Hodge filtration and for Gram filter invariants uh, um, uh, correspond to weights. What did you write? What is odd? Ah, if I can see the su because my things are super many super bundles. Yes. Yeah, I can see the spectrum b s separately in even part of the bundle and odd part of the bundle. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I yes. And uh, this property that you get uh, in in the Soldau Gizer model, when consider uh, critical value and any critical value, and if it's not zero, you shift to make it zero. Uh, this uh, uh, 
connection will have automatically regular singularity, and even in this deformed goldauer ginzburg model and quasi-unipotent monodromia. That one can show. Um, I don't want to go to details. Mm. So I get these numbers, and uh, the question, can we calculate the spectrum through some algebraic geometric data? Uh, Uh, and the proposal is the following. If we move in this uh, diagonal direction, uh, uh, what we have? We can see the kind of like deformed critical locus. It's kind of analytic space. And locally, it looks like critical point of a function. Uh, that one can see from another model uh, why, why, why it locally looks like a critical point on a function. Critical locus of holomorphic function. Uh, the reason is the following. Uh, I, I, I use here Dalbo model, but one can also use check model. One can use check model, so cover your you know, variety by some open domains. And then, mm, mm, if you look what a solution of this Markatan equation means, uh, in check model will be the following. On each domain you get uh, you deform function uh, on intersection you uh, I, uh, it's a bit long story uh, yes yeah, uh, yeah roughly uh, roughly speaking is the following Can each domain maybe deform var variety in the function and when you glue uh, Uh, functions are identified, but on a triple intersection, you get uh, some a little bit of the mess. So the composition of diffeomorphism will be not identity, and function will be identified, but it will govern by some B vector field, and uh, then you see that on critical locus, uh, critical lo lo loss you identify, and one can argue that in this situation one have Automatically on critical locus, although you have some kind of ambiguity coming from high terms, you get canonical uh, object in a category of mixed Hodge modules. So we get kind of like fake critical locus, global uh, uh, actual scheme, and then that scheme I claim is that you get a, a canonical object in category mixed such models, and there's no uh, high corrections because this object are uh, uh, rigid; they have integer lattice, and mm, uh, uh, so we get this mixed such model thing. And, and then eventually, then we can do the following. And we can consider R gamma of this cr critical locus with this, whatever this, uh, fake critical locus with fake shift of uh, vanishing cycles. Uh, you get a, a mixed code structure, but in fact, We get mixed sort structure on uh, GM, uh, one minus zero. Uh, 
uh, mixed fudge module, or you get mixed fudge module of, of fine line minus zero and a fine line respo responsible for a scaling function. It's, uh, it's usual when consider uh, vanishing cycles, you can rescale function, get automatically extra parameter. Yeah, and now uh, what I want to, get to say is that you get this uh, variation of mixed hot structures on uh, uh, C star, and you get spectrum, <coughs> like C star, yes. and, get, and then uh, you get the threshold numbers, and how they, they are related, it is the following. Uh, is this related to the exponential structures and things like that, or it's completely realistic? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a class of exponential hot structures as well, yeah. But, uh, just I want to say... Mm. The following. Yeah, I, for, for any... Variation of mid code structures on C star. One can associate also spectrum with multiplicity in, uh, in rational numbers in the following way. Uh, uh, first, if you consider monogram, you consider eigen subspace with monogram exponent 2 pi i, some number. Uh, the people, uh, no, A or B. A or B is some rational number, yeah. Uh, you can see the eigen subspace. And here consider a dimension of graded components of Hodge filtration. Ignore weight filtration. Is it the generalized eigen subspace or the actual eigen? Uh, generalized eigen subspace, consider generalized subspace. And consider the dimension of FP of this whatever, a x of this piece, gr respect to hot filtration of this piece at any point. F, f p, yeah, and if you get a uh, uh, term of p, then consider p plus a over b, it will be rational number, it will be rational number you should associate to this uh, thing, yeah, yeah, so. Ah, no, 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 uh, uh, just, place it at rational number multiplicity equal to the dimension uh, of the graded um, p terms of weight fil of Hodge filtration in this uh, yeah it resembles the works of lecture of Saba where yeah yes yes it's it's very um, uh, typical story and uh, so the conjecture that spectrum coming from uh, kind of this mixed Hodge model theory is the same as spectrum coming from uh, uh, this connection with second order pole. Uh, yeah, it's very reasonable conjecture because, again, in a classical theory for isolated singularities, that what uh, people studied many years ago for isolated singularities, uh, this was uh, kind of the second definition was by uh, essential definition by Warshenka, uh, and consider asymptotic of isolated integrals, and then Steinbrink. Uh, try to interpret in terms of uh, conventional Hodge theory and uh, make to this definition. And uh, they also assume that it's the same, get the same numbers coming either from differential equation uh, for connection or from uh, Hodge theory. Where it was oh, it was something about 80s, uh, 1980, yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, and uh, yeah, but it's uh, kind of. Uh, uh, 
it, at that time, this situation was in uh, its germ of singularity, its usual complex geometry. And I asked for some generalization beyond the situation beyond complex geometry, not even variety with a function, but adding the solution of Markov equation, which destroy holomorphicity. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so it's uh, why I'm interested in this conjecture. Because, uh, again, it was classical result, again, first proven by Varshink and then uh, by Steinberg. Uh, then I get, he proved certain semi continuity result. So, in what generality is this conjecture? Uh, my conjecture, I think it's when you can, uh, my conjecture, if you have the Soldau Gizurk model, consider deformation in this diagonal part, which I, which I use, yeah. yeah. But you are assuming O to be K, OY to be KY? OY, uh, uh, yes, 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 yeah, yeah because uh, the whole, all this, uh, yeah, in fact, in, in fact, maybe not. It, uh, in this situation, uh, maybe you don't need Calabio condition at all. Yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah. And uh, what was semi-continuity? Uh, yeah, so what happens for isolated singularity? You, uh, you have uh, one critical value, yeah? And then you deform it split to several critical values. Then, uh, for uh, if you have, uh, uh, for each critical value you get the spectrum, so this is a bunch of rational numbers, and for each of them you get a s small bunch, and uh, and they claim that each of them is simpler than uh, spectrum at any new critical value. Is kind of simpler in certain sense a spectrum at initial critical value. And what does it mean s simpler? Uh, that if you consider any interval of semi closed interval, in fact, it doesn't matter from each cent sense. Uh, intersecting with spectrum of length one, the number of points will only decrease. And uh, in fact, from this story follows, if you deform your singularity uh, in such a way that uh, uh, critical values do not split, then the spectrum will stay the same. So the, so as far as I understand the eigenvalues of uh, monodromy, yeah. uh, those guys are uh, Give, give, give fractional parts of these numbers. No, but those w in the deformation, what happens to them? It's something, yeah, it's because the monodromy here, monodromy here it's, are not related. Yeah, it's, it's not clear that there is... No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the, ah, there is no continuity of the... Yeah, this number sound continues, a kind of jump, but... Uh, well, it kind of, uh, uh, it's piecewise on like, Certification. Yes, 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 yes. Is nice, but then the jumps are you have to understand. Yeah. And what you say that the jump is such that no. Uh, yeah. No, no. It means that f uh, for each new critical value, you get s uh, smaller uh, spectrum because uh, uh, Milner number will get smaller. No, but the Milner number, the sum of Milner numbers is is. Ah, for some is no, no. I, I mean, each individual is simpler than this guy. But the t total. Uh, total sum of Milner is uh, preserved, yeah. Okay, so the semi-continuity is only for one of them. For one of them, yeah. So for one of them, the... But how do you deform the alpha? So when, when the... Uh, no, for, no, for, no, for any interval, this is not... Uh, uh, now, let me tell you kind of what is the basic example. You can see the function z to power k. No, but do you take an interval so that the endpoints are not... Uh, are not in the spectrum in the limit of... No, it could be, could be spectrum, doesn't matter. You consider any interval of length one in the real line. Yes. The number of elements here will only decrease. Yeah, now, for example, if you consider function z to power k, yeah? Yes. Uh, then this uh, spectrum is... Uh, Uh, 
this set kind of like points around zero, you get interval of size kind of essentially from minus half to plus half. You get interval of size slightly less than one in point equally distributed. And if we deform, uh, you can have uh, critical values will be either uh, um, uh, Morse point, you get th then spectrum will be just 1.0, or maybe it will be z with, uh, with smaller order, so it will be slightly uh, less wide distribution of things. So it can go, can go, cannot go outside, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so you get this. Uh, so there was a classical result of semi continuity, and in this framework, uh, for the definition of spectrum coming from mixed Hodge module, uh, it's a bit long story. I, I, again, I just give only announcement. I can prove again semi continuity, and uh, and the proof actually it's better proof than uh, people have before. I can, if it's, uh, I can simplify the whole story. Uh, yeah, so I get the semi continuity, and uh, why it will be important. So, what one can hope. Uh, that in, uh, in this ground between invariants, uh, uh, the semi continuity hold in the kind of long sense, and uh, that for all what I called atoms oh, coming from dimension less than some n, uh, then the spectrum will belong to the interval of minus n half. Uh, it will uh, 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 kind of bound it to the one which you see in the classical limit. In the classical limit, we get this bounds. And um, if it's true, then it will give um, immediately uh, applications to non rationality of some complete intersections, if you're interested. Uh, uh, when you see that uh, it's, it's kind of the same story which I explained like for cubic for fault, one can go to complete intersection of very big dimension. And then one have this component for which we see uh, spectrum will be very big and cannot come from co dimension to varieties at all by these reasons. And then uh, will be this non rationality result in uh, really huge, kind of infinitely many examples. And, and so this spectrum in this is, is this is uh, what you expect? Or? Yeah, I expect, yeah, there's no, s no serums here, yeah. Oh, I see. So yeah. Not the theorem. Yeah, unfortunately, this semi continuity uh, it was semi continuity the theorem. No semi continuity for uh, for Varshenko spectrum, but it's a kind of kind of semi dramatic situation. I and if I do the ground fit invariance, I really have uh, have no clue why it's uh, the things should be true. Yeah, so I think it's time to make a break now. Yeah. So the the of course the all your results like uh, but rationality is in characteristic zero. In characteristic zero, yeah, because all based on the resolution of singularity. Yeah, I use this blow up formula. I need resolution of singularity. Ah, okay. So yeah, so it's, I cannot okay. do anything. In. Uh, and in, uh, it's not enough to use. Uh, uh, yeah, this uh, this okay. like like the young. Yeah, it's no no. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, so maybe we should have a little break. Yeah. Okay, now the second part, which will be kind of uh, essentially completely change gears, yeah, so the different topic. But at the end, I will uh, go back to the lower gear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I think, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's return to uh, this Gromov between invariants. Uh, we get not only F bundle F bundle and like F bundle, but we get something also we get something which I called framing, um, which means that if you have point in this base, whatever sense uh, of the self bundle, we get a con connection on on trivialized bundle on uh, 
Uh, and connection uh, onto LS bundle, which has special form, extends to a fine line. So I recall how this connection looked like. This sterilized bundle fiber is commode of my variety and current derivative du it will be 1 minus Euler field at point gamma multiplied by u minus 2 plus some gradient operator, which will usual gradient in commode minus slightly normalized. And yeah, if you uh, kind of want to see concretely, I, I didn't really show many examples to you of such things. If we have cubic threefold, not fourfold, so you can be four, and gamma is kind of like point zero in cohomology. What did you write minus dim x? What is the thing before? Gra it's a grading operator on cohomology. Uh, okay. yeah. yeah, so how does things look like? Yeah, for, uh, and you consider such variety and consider only algebraic part of cohomology. Uh, then, then point zero, the connection looks like this. It's du minus it's, it, it doesn't serve any particular role just to show that the things are not totally abstract. I get this uh, um, differential equations and you consider solutions. Uh, you get uh, four solutions. Uh, the two will grow with asymptotic exponent plus minus six square root of three of u. Uh, this will be two uh, critical values, six and square root of three, which are not zero. And there will be one solution like this, another solution like this. And, and the spectrum here will be uh, and those are those are vector solutions, no? Vector solutions, yeah. So you are speaking about the leading. To, uh, yeah, there will be two regular solutions and, and uh, two, two vector solutions with such. Yeah, it's not actually functions and vector valued function. And spectrum here it's minus six plus five or six something like this. Yeah, yeah. Two two regular two regular points. Two regular and two regular. So involving only Laurent. Uh, yeah, yeah, and and yeah, and for this regular part, uh, you get a uh, spectrum m plus minus five over six. Yeah, so you get such uh, uh, gadget, but you see that it's, it's actually uh, bundle on a fine line. Yeah, so you get. Is it the fo other formal solutions or holomorphic? Oh, oh. Because if it is regular, it's the same, but in the irregular case... Uh, ah, no, no, it's, for, it's formal, salute. it's for formal, yeah, it's not... Uh, What's the number exponent of plus minus of whom? Uh, whatever, six, six, six some special number, six square, square root of three. Uh, you divided by you. Divided by you, yeah. Yeah, no, no, just, to, no just to get you feeling how the things look like, it's not... Yeah, 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 it's not really... Uh, not really give you any... Good story, yeah. So, so, so what we get? We get algebraic, uh, algebraic bundle, vector bundle on a fine line. Yeah, this connection. Now we can do the following. We, we can uh, uh, write. We can embed this a fine line to a fine line with another coordinate v, where v is u inverse. We have this inclusion, and, uh, and consider 
dark image of D module. So we get what you get, you get holonomic D module on a fine line with its coordinate V. Uh, some module and subject multiplication by V is isomorphism. Because it's, it will be module over uh, Laurent polynomial. And then we can make Fourier transform. So the coordinate, maybe now get some uh, element in holonomic. It will be demo, it will be holonomic demodule of some another line with another coordinate called z. <laughs> and uh, how this demodule look like? It's actually I, I will just give the de the definition as a vector space, a c vector space. Uh, it is a tensor product. My my commodore of my variety say uh, multiply by uh, Laurent polynomial and variable u uh, function or oh, kind of v inverse, and what will be operation action of z uh, will be. Like action of uh, uh, derivative in V, which is u square du, and then what you see is it's u square du minus this Euler field and plus this gradient operator minus dimension over 2 multiplied by u power plus 1. And action of dz will be multiplication by u, in, u, u, by u inverse. But Maxim, you want a k vector space or a c vector space in the k vector space? Yeah, if you if you just have some field, yeah, uh, that's k, yeah. But uh, yeah, so you get this uh, thing, and uh, and what goes on? You have d module now with irregular singularity in 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 this z in the z line, and. The ramp cohomology of this of this module is equal to zero because how we calculate the ramp cohomology of the model in one variable? Consider a kernel a kernel of differentiation. It will be and it will be invertible operator here. Yeah, so you get uh, uh, the module with the ramp cohomology equal to zero. U plus two. Oh, plus two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, uh, kind of like d dv is uh, minus u square dv is whatever. Oh, of inverse variable, you multiply by oh, square. Yeah. 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 So uh, so for each point you get the module with uh, the ramp homology equal to zero, and uh, one can kind of vary a point of, of your uh, in, the, in this base B X, and get kind of the module on a product space. Uh, uh, and maybe, maybe one can say the following: You, you extend by factorial to uh, you extend its things uh, to p1, say just uh, if you want, but it's not really necessary. On b multiplied by let's say p1 with that, you get a analytic a holonomic demodule. Uh, with two properties, uh, kind of m, uh, curly m, mm. such, such that if you uh, 
confused, consider pullback uh, with factorial gets zero. So it means that it's, uh, we extend by zero this thing to infinity. And uh, second, when we consider push forward, it does not because uh, of this model, you again get zero. The upper shriek, the notation from the D module theory, so the upper shriek is like tensoring over the structure shape of the... Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And the lower shriek is the relative Durham cohomology. Yes, relative Durham cohomology, yeah. And it is the same as lower star in this case. Yeah, because it's compact, yeah. P1 is compact, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so one can uh, formulate in, in such uh, manner. Now, uh, conjecture, this M has regular singularities. Uh, which is uh, uh, essentially equivalent uh, to the fact that at least point-wise, any point on this Bx, uh, that uh, uh, when we can see the original connection, in, in form of power series in U, is isomorphic to, uh, and, may, uh, and maybe I take uh, a Laurent series, it's isomorphic to some of a Uh, mm. So when you take Laurent series, it's like working in rigid analytically, like the general fiber. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I can see this is vector bundle on a f on a on a f on a formal puncture disk, and uh, uh, I, I claim that this vector bundle has a form some f uh, exponents, critical values or singularities of this guy in the plane, uh, times regular d module in this U, mm. it's equivalent to regularity of this Fourier transform. Mm. Gamma is what? Is the it's the point in, in this base of maybe even part of, of my B-manifold. Okay, and this is the, and Zi is the... Zi gamma are... are uh, the i of gamma are eigenvalues spectrum of this Euler operator. And uh, do you know that the Euler operator is semi-simple? No, 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 no. It's it's not generally not semi-simple. Okay, but so th but you still do e to the eigenvalue. If you have a Jordan block, you don't have to change this. Yeah, no, no, no. Jordan block uh, can come here. Yeah. Ah, it will contribute to the regular. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's the notation e to number mean here? I have usual, uh, uh, oh, sorry, easy gamma divided by u. OK, sorry, sorry, you're right. Yes, yeah, now, uh, now uh, and this conjecture is, uh, uh, together with kind of quasi unimportant monogram was necessary to, you know, to define spectra for me. Yeah? Otherwise, I can't even define spectra. Yeah, so I believe this conjecture is true. Yeah, so today's, today's conjectures only. And now assume the case complex numbers. Then we have Riemann Hilbert correspondence. And instead of this demodule, uh, at least for, for each uh, individual gamma, we will get a, a, a perverse shift for, for given gamma. We get perverse shift f on gamma on c with r gamma equal to zero. Yeah, so get, you can translate 
some topological data. And if you are right gamma, you get kind of family of Perot's shifts. You can translate to topological thing. Uh, so it was uh, here. Say complex numbers. So assume assuming this f uh, this b x uh, can be defined over c. Uh, so so growth invariance has kind of exponential growth. Uh, uh, one can apply Rogomovich response, and there was a conjecture, maybe it was around 15 years ago. So it was by uh, Katsarkov, Pantev, and me. And also a bit later, Galkin and Editani make similar conjecture. Uh, it's called something like gamma conjecture. It's widely open, uh, which says that it uh, says that this perverse shift uh, uh, is uh, defined uh, uh, has kind of is C times some uh, shift uh, when you have finitely generated abelian groups and you have kind of Z lattice. Shift of finitely generated, even three abelian groups, three Z modules, and this uh, and, and then that the structure uh, was described uh, kind of explicitly. Formula for lattice structure. Uh, I will not go. Uh, to this, uh, to the description, it's pretty uh, long, and it's uh, actually it's not convenient to see from point of view of regular D model at all. It's it's more it's much nicer formula if you go to original exponential things, and and it, it in this original formulation it's involves, involves usual uh, something like usual cohomology with integer coefficients, but then you multiply by some transcendental Characteristic class uh, associated with the tangent uh, with, uh, characteristic class of the tangent bundle related to gamma function. Uh, you know, we have single f, f gamma, right? This gamma conjecture. Yeah. Sorry. So this conjecture is for f gamma. Right? Yeah. For f. Uh, no, no, no. F. Uh, for, 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 uh, oh, for this. Uh, so constructible gamma, uh, f, f gamma, yeah, for f yeah, gamma, for f gamma, yeah. yeah, yeah. And this capital gamma is for gamma function of Euler. Ah. It's kind, it's something you know, like exponent of gamma x, something like z to two, uh, yeah, something like this. And it, there are some transcendental numbers here. Of one plus. Consider gamma of one plus x. Yeah, I, I forgot exactly formal, but it can be written, can be expanded near, near zero, and you have Euler constant yes. plus values of gamma zeta function and positive integers okay. with some prop multiples. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. So it's some series one plus something in s series of x, and then for any series static from one, you can associate a multiplicative characteristic class. And this, using this multiplicity characteristic class, you multiply usual lattice of uh, like integer cohomology by this multiplicity characteristic class of tangent bundle. And yeah, it's a bit long story. I don't really want to go. There is some uh, the main point. There is some kind of mm, well documented this uh, conjecture, and there are a lot of evidences and uh, some heuristic argument. Perverse shift is this. Sir, this perverse shift. On on C Z. No, no, it has singularity exactly in this eigenvalues of uh, this Euler field. And so the integral lattice should be also in the singularity. Yes, yes, extends on singularity, but it's kind of automatic. I, I'll just let me tell you some story. Yeah, it, it's can uh, details here irrelevant. Let me tell you story how to understand this perverse shift with argam equal to zero. Uh, uh, um, 
what are these shifts and uh, um, you will see that how it extends to the middle extension of its restriction to this. Ah, no, this, okay, let me start. So, this kind of theorem if you have perverse shift uh, on C, uh, say that R gamma of E is zero, then implies that E is, is actually a shift. It's not per. Oh, I see. It, 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 it normalizes. Yeah, up to shift by one, yeah. Shift by one, yeah. And what a typical example of such shift? Again, suppose we get some, uh, something which maps to a fine line. Uh, then, uh, uh, let's see, it's algebraic variety, but it's really pure topological story. Mm. You should get, like, local trivial bundles out of finitely many points, any map. Uh, and then for any integer k, you can see the following shift. It will be shift, it will be constructible shift. And I, I, I will describe you what is the stock at any point of this shift. The stock of any point z will be case cohomology of pair. Y f minus one of z. Yeah, uh, or, or you can replace by f minus one of little disk with center z. Oh, no, so, sorry, I think it's better f minus one of little disk with center z. You take homology, let's say, with integer coefficient. Yeah. Minus one. Yeah, you can say the homology of pair. Yeah. F minus one of uh, little disk. Center Z, it, it stabilizes. Yeah? With integer, let's say with integer coefficients. Yeah? Claim that R gamma of this guy is equal to zero. Uh, you take the, but the little disk is small enough. Small enough, yeah. Then it stabilizes, yeah. You can see the little disk which contains no other critical points, critical values. Yeah. So, so when, let's say, zero is a critical value, but then when z is close to zero, then the little disk is, is very small compared to the absolute value of z. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the claim that this R gamma of this guy is equal to zero. It's not obvious, I have to say. It doesn't follow from, like, homological algebra, truncation, blah, blah, no. It's, one can prove it kind of by hand. Uh, it's true for individual cohomology. Is it, uh, do you assume the critical locus is proper or not? I no, I said suppose I have algebraic variety. Or more general, uh, suppose I have a map from uh, any space, topological space to C, so that outside finitely many points is local trivial bundle, if it's finite dimensional cohomology of fibers, and, uh, and cohomology of primage of any, any disk also has finite dimensional cohomology. N nothing proper, no, I don't, don't use anything. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's easy but not kind of trivial uh, statement. And uh, one can actually understand such shifts in the following s s things. So you have these critical values, yeah? You have critical values, or, or, or points when my shift is not uh, constant, and I choose some collection of paths and uh, uh, loops, uh, which are kind of disjoint and go around my critical points. Then I have my, uh, some vector space will be stocks, stock of field of this point, yeah, with this, this space. And the structure will shift given by the following. I get monodromy maps, yeah, uh, I think I kind of labeled to get some maps from I from one to k, and then I get a uh, stock at uh, at singular point. I get some vi uh, stock at singular point, which maps to invariant subspace. Yeah, that's the structure of a shift. 
you can see the section at this point, it extends to in, uh, section invariant under monodromia. So the structure of shift is given by collection of automorphisms and spaces which maps to invariants. It's clear. But now you, uh, you uh, uh, read the condition what it means that R gamma is equal to zero, H zero H one, with this shift, and R gamma is equal to zero is equivalent to the following things. First of all, these things are inclusions, not just yes. inclusions. A second is the following. You can see the map from V to sum of copies of V by sum of 1 minus Ti, and then more consider quotient by sum of V cross Vi. And then this map is isomorphism. It's just little calculation what, 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 what the Venshikov cohomology means. Uh, and then, uh, what does it mean? It, 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 let's denote spa this uh, spaces, I don't know, but like a ui. So you see that v is equal to sum of ui. And uh, the whole uh, kind of... Uh, um, and then Ti has the following structure. In this direct sum decomposition, it's a matrix uh, which uh, is coincided with identity matrix except one, one column. And on this column, the diagonal element should be invertible, and there is arbitrary maps. Yeah, so it's very easy object, you get just a bunch of maps between various spaces and some are, uh, maps from space to itself are invertibles. Yeah, so it's a very easy category. Uh, but uh, 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 what goes on? Uh, you can connect your point, let's say on the left, with this, po with this point in different ways, homotopically different ways. We can connect some kind of like, we have these points, but now connect in some uh, some, uh, some different way. You get a different direct sum decomposition. So you get many uh, direct sum decomposition of fiber at some point on the left. Of fiber, it's, it's, it's kind of at minus infinity. Stocks at, if you go to, to, the, to the left, it's minus infinity. Uh, and, uh, and this decompositions are uh, labeled by elements of the braid group. Okay, maybe I don't need it. Yeah. Can I interrupt you with uh, uh, Alpha <coughs> before you erase this gamma conjecture? Yeah. So you say that F gamma conjecturally is C tensored with a finitely generated freezy module. Yes, yes, yeah. So is it a complex or it is just sheaf? Yeah, it's not, 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 not complex. It's not nothing it's complex. Just sheaf in yeah. one degree. Yeah, yeah. It's maybe super sheaf in one uh, but in degree zero, yeah. And what kind of decomposition of C you take? Just zero and C minus zero? Decomposition. What is the stratification of a C you take? Ah, because the uh, eigenvalues of my earlier field, yes. th this is a collection of points, okay, and, uh, and they get complement to them. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, it's exactly this eigenvalues of earlier field and, and the complement. Yes. Yeah. Ah, just uh, maybe one thing I just said in words without writing anything. Yeah, the whole conjecture was formulated in terms of uh, assuming that things are convergent, yeah? And one can, uh, it, it just kind of like f f 
for any mathematicians who don't trust me. If, if the thing is not convergent, uh, just in form power series, one can still uh, formulate gamma conjecture. Uh, there's some part of um, kind of like limiting Riemann Hilbert correspondence. Uh, uh, roughly speaking, if we have a field instead of C, Disc. Functional disk yeah. I treat T as a very small positive number, okay. and uh, then it will be um, behave essentially like C. For example, consider R of T; it's totally ordered field, and uh, there is a whole story. Uh, uh, and uh, this whole story about or minimal structures, so it behaves it's, it's a, like actual family. One can speak about topology, fundamental groups, and so on, and some Riemann Hilbert correspond in this limiting sense as well. Yeah. Ah, but it's just technical point to one can formulate things without assuming convergent and uh, it will. Uh, so this the main uh, point of gamma conjecture is that it's not a complex; it's just located in one degree. Gamma no, 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 main point of gamma conjecture is this some lattice. Uh, uh, yeah, the story is the following. Uh, this is formula for G structure, that's the main Yeah, no, the, the, the main story from the story. We get this uh, uh, D module on C with some singularities. We assume it's regular singularity. And here, uh, somewhere at infinity, we specify some integer lattice. And kind of one can check this monodromy around the whole story preserves the slightest. But who know wh why the monodromy around smaller things and space of invariance are defined over Z? It's not clear at all. Yeah, that's, that's essentially the essence of oh, this. Okay, okay. conjecture, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and so, um, yeah, so here, uh, here's something. We have, so we get kind of direct some decompositions. And, uh, 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 the story is the following. Uh, on cohomology of X, we have non-symmetric, non-degenerate bilinear form. Uh, uh, I'll just describe you uh, kind of part of it. Uh, if you have two vector bundles, and pairing between uh, vector bundles, this, it take error characteristic of our home from E to F. Yeah, of course, it's defined only on uh, uh, one can extend to, e, uh, to uh, even case theory, topological case theory, but and it's also extended to odd case theory as well. Yeah, so we have such bilinear form. And uh, uh, so you get vector space. Uh, with some bilinear form. And if we get vector space with bilinear form, then one consider notion of semi orthogonal decomposition of, of V with bilinear form. Namely, you try to write V as a direct sum, ordered sum of subspaces, such as sum of Vi, V is isomorphism. You decompose things in ordered subspaces, and there is a property that Vi prepared with J is zero for I bigger than J. How you extend to even to odd? Uh, I don't remember, yeah, but it's. it's uh, yeah. You just use the formula coming from Riemann Roch. Riemann Roch, yeah, Riemann Roch formula, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so get uh, such. Uh, uh, you get notion you get vector space uh, of, uh, actually it's, it's compact now right it's compact yeah it's compact yeah compact simply yeah, com compact yeah it's more when uh, it's framework of gonfit yeah, invariance yeah proper, yeah proper variety. yes yes yeah uh, 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 if you get vector space with not not necessarily symmetric product maybe super vector space one can speak about semi orthogonal decompositions kind of it also will be super subspaces yeah, yeah just keep it and on such semi uh, on, on the space of semi orthogonal decompositions, with, uh, uh, suppose this kind of length k, this action of a braid group, uh, you, you try to, uh, uh, 
what you try to see, you try to see some uh, things coming from, f from flags. And in the flag, you want to replace one element in the flag. By, by some orthogonal complement. Yeah, so this natural braid group action here. And uh, what happens here in this decomposition, uh, which uh, we expect from uh, this ground fitness theory, because of the, uh, there's some padding in the whole story, it, uh, this decomposition will be actually symmetrical decomposition with respect to this uh, bilinear form. And, and if, if you change co collection of paths, it's called Gabriel of paths, then it will be exactly a uh, braid group action coming from uh, all this uh, uh, machinery. Yeah, okay. By the way, before when you add the, all this linear algebra with V i, V and T i, can you reconstruct the V when you have the decomposition of V huh? and the T i? Do you, can you reconstruct the V i? No. If, if you have decomposition, uh, so v, v should be a direct sum because of this. Ah, the are given in a certain way, uh, but yeah. then you can see what the V i should be or not. Uh, yeah, I think it's this direct, uh, direct sum vi will be uh, sum of uj j for j not equal to i. It's kind of automatically in this, yeah. Also, this decomposition of cohomology in a uh, symmetrical decomposition, braid group action, actually the uh, 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 traces of something more interesting. Uh, you get symmetrical decomposition of of the cat derived category of coherent shifts on X. So it means that you get some sequence of subcategories, full subcategories. Uh, said that. X groups, they all will be triangulated subcategories. And X group from closed under extensions. Uh, for, uh, for you have this condition, and instead of saying say that the direct sum is equal to C, that all category is, is generated by this CI. If you get, uh, 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 this was theory developed by uh, like, uh, Bondel and Kapranov, the semi-orthogonal decompositions, and uh, such things gives you semi-orthogonal decomposition cohomology. These categories will be smooth, proper categories. This, uh, you get like projection to these categories given by some kernels, and then you can uh, produce this decomposition of cohomology. And uh, yeah, so, so this natural extension is that uh, we, we should expect for this given collection of paths gives us S or D of, of, of category instead of uh, just cohomology. And this thing was uh, kind of conjectured very early. Uh, again, it was. In in nineties, uh, by Boris Dubrovin and uh, by uh, also with Sergei Baranikov, we kind of uh, yeah he 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 conjectured some case when all uh, kind of uh, uh, critical values are like more singularities uh, that will get some called. Mm, Exceptional collection, and uh, but in general, one can uh, try to uh, formulate the things to get symmetrical decomposition of the category, and uh, uh, there was a heuristic explanation of the story 
uh, coming from the following heuristic uh, explanation, this category should be isomorphic to Foucault Zedel category of, uh, of mirror variety, uh, this function. Uh, uh, and this Foucault Zedel category uh, will be Lagrangian varieties, object will Lagrangian varieties, and which project to something going to the left. And the definition of Holmes is such that such picture automatically gives semi-orthogonal decomposition. Yeah, so it's kind of well-known picture in mirror symmetry. Uh, but uh, in Foucault's ideal ca case, but now without assuming that anything uh, mirror exists, it will be kind of abstract conjecture why the semi-orthogonal decomposition exists. And for me, it's the most kind of mysterious uh, story in the whole subject. Why the semi-orthogonal decomposition uh, e exists. And uh, let me tell you, kind of, uh, uh, I thought of it for many, kind of, several decades already, yeah, but have really no idea what is, uh, how it could be, what could be general reasons. Uh, if you get a semi orthogonal decomposition of category, you get uh, some kind of like pullback and push uh, for, for the subcategories one can make inclusion and adjoint factors, so you get end of factors of your category given by some complexes of holomorphic bundles. And you get um, some classes in Cho group with certain integrality property. And we, what we start with, we start with Gromfield invariants, which are uh, 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 elements of Cho groups with big denominators, because this curve has symmetries. And how, uh, how on, the, uh, on the Earth one can uh, build from these things with kind of uncontrollable denominators, integral uh, uh, classes in actual case theory, it's uh, for me, uh, yeah, it's, it's complete mystery. It, yeah, but, but there are all signs that it is true. Mm. Yeah, so get uh, someone should get this uh, uh, semi-orthogonal decomposition. So the conclusion that invariant of the atom should be equivalence class of a smooth proper category which appears in semi-orthogonal decomposition. This. What did you define invariant of atom before? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Atom, no, I defined what is atom, it's abstract story. Uh, yeah. Pi zero, blah, 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 yeah, and, okay. yeah. And, and the contextual picture is that for each atom one can actually assort uh, uh, equivalence class of certain category, which will be part of semi orthogonal decomposition of your original variety. Okay. Smooth proper category, yeah. So the proper, yeah, it's, it was kind of uh, in, uh, categories which similar to DB of coherent shifts and smooth proper varieties, oh, which I, I find. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see. yeah. So, I see. so this category is uh, DB of a smooth. No, no, no it's, 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 a, it's a piece of similar program decomposition. <laughs> it's kind of categories of geometric origin. Yeah. yeah. So you look at categories of the form DB of a DG, some O, O, O. Categories which are like perfect. Yeah, these categories automatically have form the, the perfect model, so some funny uh, algebra which is smooth and proper in the sense which I explained before. Ah, okay. Yeah. Can this make if there's this variance of Gromovitan in there? Sorry? The variance of Gromovitan which are integers of Kumarov. Uh, yes, yeah, but it's. Uh, yeah, it's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe there's a certain integrality which can try to put into the game and let me see this. This db of coherent x, is it a first of y to a point, you said, or y? No, of, of, of Landau gives a whole variety. If it's in good situations, you get some dual varieties as a function, but not always. It's, there's really no reasons to. And uh, uh, just final few words, it's about stability. It's, lit, uh, it's some extension of the story. It's again, was kind of uh, clear for many years, but uh, wasn't really articulated. And uh, it was a recent paper by uh, Daniel Halpern Leister. He has some uh, um, uh, 
try to formulate things for bridge and stability, uh, which which something which explain should explain the semi-orthogonal decomposition. Uh, now, now I'll just recall you what is bridge and stability. If you get triangulated category in kind of traditional sense, no enhancement, and suppose I get a certain map, kind of chain class. from K0 of your category to, to a finite rank lattice. Or maybe to vector space OQR. It's not torsion is really relevant. Uh, the main thing is kind of finite rank. Uh, then uh, definition what is bridge stability structure is the following. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's given by uh, additive map from lambda to C. And then for collection of full subcategory, uh, C phi, C phi, uh, set it for any object in for the phi is a rational real number, okay. And there are a bunch of axioms, uh, namely for any object in C phi, uh, central charge, Z is called central charge of class of this object belongs to it's not zero, it's number with argument pi phi. Except when, th when this is zero. It's not zero, so it, mean, it means it's not zero. It's category, this is category doesn't contain zero objects. Ah, without zero. Yeah. One can add zero, but it's, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, so uh, then C phi shifted by one is equal to C phi plus one, like this. Then you can see the home, not all X group, but only uh, kind of homes in X and degree group from C phi one to C phi two is zero if <laughs> phi one bigger than phi two. Yeah, it's kind of very similar to semi-orthogonal decomposition. Yeah, so you get six uh, degrees and Instead of generated by, by categories, the last axiom it says that uh, for any object that exists and automatically unique, mm, finite filtration, filtration and translated categories just sequence of morphism, morphisms, uh, such that cone of each morphism belongs to CFI and numbers are strictly increasing. Okay, so like for the zero object, you just take a trivial... Trivial length zero filtration, nothing to speak about, yeah, okay, yeah. And finally, there is, uh, uh, there is uh, some uh, technical uh, axioms called support property, uh, choose a norm on a real vector space, then for any phi, uh, then there exists a constant, so that for any object in any of these categories, uh, we have absolute value of this complex number is bounded by C times norm of class of M. Okay, yeah, some, uh, if you haven't seen it, you will not understand anything, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, so that's... So uh, this means that if... <coughs> No, so the 
It follows the C5 is in a billion category or no? Yeah, it implies if you add zero, you get a billion categories. Yeah. Union zero is a billion. Yes, yes. And then we get plenty of T structures actually in your category. One can formulate in many ways. Uh, it, it, uh, you also, will, if you consider categories generated by object with phi from zero to one, in not including one or not including zero, like in semi open interval, then I get a heart of a T structure. So this three, is that this filtration, is it like harder than Narsimha? It's harder than filtration, yeah, exactly, yeah, it's, it's some kind of... Ah, okay, remember, yeah. see, there was even a Bourbaki seminar on this? Maybe, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it the case that this implies that uh, for any object in C5 it has finite lengths? Yes, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, there are... Okay, so that's... Uh, yeah, it's kind of, well... Uh, and in two, are there only finitely many C5s are oh, infinitely many, infinitely many. Oh, infinitely many. Yeah, you get, yeah. Mm. And the theorem is that it's uh, the space of stability structures uh, is, in fact, one can endow it with, it's naturally Hausdorff uh, uh, manifold. And a map from z uh, in, 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 and there is a map. Now you are taking the space of stability structures. Yeah, as I said, space of stability structures uh, is naturally uh, Hausdorff manifold. One can define some topology. And there is a map to home lambda to C, which is kind of much C to R. Yeah. Like Z in this collection of C, C phi goes just to Z. I forget about the things. Is local, is a tile map. It's kind of local homeomorphism. In particular, it's a, it's a complex manifold. Uh, how, how do you Sorry. identify equivalent stability conditions? I mean, no, no, it's, just, if it's the same. Yeah, it, it's going to be strictly full subcategories. That's it. Strictly full subcategories, yeah. Stability conditions is. Is there, some, is there some natural topology of a manifold? Ah, a stability structure. Yeah, yeah. Is, uh, the, by the way, if lambda is, instead of z to the n, if you take a uh, rational vector space, yeah. then, uh, the, the other axiom doesn't imply that... Uh, yeah, no, no, no it's, it's in real life it's actually zr, yeah. It's, 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 uh, yeah, if you go kind of make infinite division. Also, ah, okay, because the, the support property is powerful. Yeah, for, no, for support property, I think I need to really let it so find a trunk. Uh, yeah, sorry, I should remove the rational numbers here. For the theorems you need it, you think. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm not sure that if you consider this infinitely divisible thing, think will survive. So is it a topological manifold? Or? So it's, it's complex manifold. It's, so it's a complex manifold. It's manifold. It's actually equal locally identified with the domain in vector space. Yeah. 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 So that. Uh, and and now just to finish. Uh, yeah. Now I really have to assume this Gromovitian invariance gives complex analytic. Base not just formal, and uh, and uh, I recall this this base w was looking like uh, like this. I guess some kind of like tube domain in H two X. In neuron severe group of X modular torsion multiplied by C star and multiplied by some uh, open balls in uh, kind of algebraic homology of degree not equal to 2, zero, 4, 6, and so on. But because it's tube domain, you see that it was some kind of like 
convex body in a ample cone, and over here we get a fiber with fi uh, which is a torus, which is real torus. You can see the uh, logarithmic map from C star to uh, to R, and the fiber is a torus. So you see that. Mm, this base has fundamental group. It's essentially neuron severity group of X. It's kind of abelian group. And uh, and we consider B X and multiply by C star in variable U. It's kind of neuron severity group of X plus Z. And this thinks X by automorphisms. Of my category, derived category of coherent shifts. Uh, how it goes like this? Since neuron severity group, I assume uh, that like, uh, there's no connected components, it's mapped by uh, class of line bundle, goes to multiplication by line bundle. It's automorphism of the category. And this remaining z, genetic one in z, uh, is, this is p1 of. C star u goes to what's called ser functor, uh, which is uh, tensoring by canonical bundle and shift by dimension. Yeah, so you can essentially add shift uh, shifts. Yeah, so you get. So what is what goes on? Uh, it implies that on B X C U you get. Local system of categories. So my category I denote now from gamma and u. Kind of, we have point gamma. And, uh, we get local system categories, which are isomorphic to my category of graph coherent shifts uh, uh, in a natural way. And uh, then, if you consider cohomology of these categories. Uh, exactly, it will be exactly this is my uh, uh, so the, the, to, to define cyclic homology, this thing you Sorry? need a DG uh, enhancement or not? Sorry? To define cyclic homology, yeah, it should it need DG enhancement, yeah, definitely, yeah, it's not. I just want to just briefly what you want to say. No, but you would see gamma U is the gamma is the the abelian the, the subcategories of the full derived category. No, it's a full it's a full it's a full derived category. Is this category is equivalent to full derived category? No, these categories are this local system of categories, which are all categories are equivalent to db of coherent shifts of x. But then you want something like c gamma u. Ah, but it's but I said it's a local system, so so it means that for each point to get a category, which is amorphic, not canonically to db of. What is gamma? Gamma is gamma small gamma. It's a point of the space when this gravity invariance are defined. And u is non-zero complex number, nothing else, yeah. Yeah. And and now now this conjecture is the following. For any let's say C infinity pass, I don't know how to know it, some kind of like uh, T goes to P of T. The T belongs to Let's say some interval. And P of T belongs to what? It belongs to the total space of, of the bundle uh, taking the even part uh, uh, of the bundle. Bx maybe g multiplied by c star is variable u, c is variable u. 
I can see the total space of my bundle uh, such that the following thing uh, going. So if you get, uh, get a pass, uh, then I, uh, you can see the u coordinate of this p of t. Mm. At t equal to zero is zero. So it in particular projects, projects to pass in 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 in, in u plane. And uh, I want this, to, this pass to start at zero point with non-zero speed. And the third condition is that uh, uh, all the x coordinate of p of t at t equal to zero is, uh, is a vector in cohomology. is a generator of a uh, module of a, uh, I recall for f-bundles, the fiber is a module of commutative algebra with tangent space to the base. It's a generator of rank one free module for quantum multiplication. Yeah, so if, so if you get uh, Uh, such a pass, you get a section of my uh, then there exists t0 less than 1 b0 such that if you restrict pass to interval, slightly shorter interval uh, uh, what I get, I get a uh, pass in this convolution, here it, is, it will be a local system outside of zero. It's a local system will be the, sa the same as cohomology of my categories. Um, in cohomology of my categories, uh, how do you not see uh, gamma of t u of t, gamma t, u of t will be my position in my Frobenius manifold. Uh, or in fact, you can identify it with duals. See? Uh, and, uh, and all these things are central charges of some stability, of stability condition, some connected component. So this functionals, uh, depends on small parameter, will be a central charge of some stabilities. Of categories, yeah, because because my, bu my 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 bundle outside of zero will be a local system. What is the category? This local system of categories, which I consider C gamma u, u. And what is the cohomology? The uh, oh, periodic cyclic cohomology, whatever. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And you assume that the pass is not zero u for for outside. Ah, yeah, it's automatically because speed is not zero. It's uh, near zero, it is non-zero. Yeah, yeah. So it's so it's, so it means that a small germ of pass belongs to C star. If you remove zero point, yes. it it will be outside of u equal to zero. Yes. Inside of u equal to zero, my uh, uh, my bundle would have a flat flat connection, and it will be the the connection cohomology of this family of categories or dual spaces. Gives a pass P gives a pass in HP, and HP is related to cohomology of X? Yes, yes, essentially cohomology of X, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's the same as cohomology of X. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so the conjecture is that you get, uh, when approach you get the symmetrical decomposition, and reasoning again goes through this Fouquet, that the, 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 the central charges of some stability structures and uh, mm, mm, what it uh, uh, essentially says says to you, you get 
connected components in space of stability structures of your variety invariant under action of these two symmetry groups. Mm. And, and we get kind of, uh, kind of kind of compactification of the things at infinity given by this uh, gram fitting invariance. Uh, yeah, this thing morally implies semi-orthogonal decomposition because, uh, uh, yeah, uh, first of all, I want to just to say a little uh, justification. In uh, the, the, uh, when you have this Landau Gisberg model, we have this volume element and we can integrate over. Lagrangian sub varieties in, uh, in uh, Foucault's idle categories. And then it's kind of heuristically gives a stability of, of, the, of on the Foucault's idle category. And semi orthogonal decomposition appears uh, kind of natural from this family of stability because there will be objects for which central charge go faster than another. You get uh, some filtrations. Yeah, so the uh, help and rise analyze it in uh, some details. and. Mm. Uh, yeah, so uh, this kind of deep reasons why you should have this semi orthogonal decomposition. And uh, uh, yeah, so the conclusion is that invariant of atoms will be not just a category, but category plus connected components of its stability conditions. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I think that's over, and thank you. <laughs> thank you.